The entire area was thrown into mourning as some children of the deceased, family members and other sympathizers converged on number 30, Egbon Estate Road, where the incident occurred. The news crew could not assess the scene of crime as police officers from a Watubu division sealed it off as part of investigations. A son of the deceased, Abdul Karim Oronsai, said his father was hacked to death with an axe early on Sunday morning, describing him as a kind-hearted man. A younger brother to the deceased, Mr. Paul Oronsai, and a landlord in the area, Chief Macaulay, at one time condemned the killing. I received a call that my dad was murdered. He took blood. My dad was a very simple man. And he, pay, he pays us a lot. I'm short of ways. <laughs> short of ways. My only senior brother. We have been together from grass. About three weeks ago, I was with him. During the day, Cabri Salah. I told him, brother, one out twenty years. When we wake up, we had uh, people were shouting, shouting, shouting. Then with the street member, we we quickly run into the the scene. Getting to this place now, they were saying that Laji has died. That Laji has died. In a telephone interview, Police Public Relations Officer, Edo State Command, DSP Kontongs Bello said investigations has commenced to unravel perpetrators and cause of the incident. It was gathered that wife of the deceased passed away recently and is yet to be buried. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.